And don't worry, it's not long, it's on the back of a Christmas card. Um, but as I can see, we've got a few visitors this morning that will perhaps wonder what this is all linked to. I want to st start by sharing the verse from Hosea that we were looking at. And it's Hosea chapter 10, verse 12. And it says this, Sow for yourself righteousness. Reap the fruit of steadfast love. Break up the fallow ground, for it is time to seek the Lord, that he may come and rain salvation upon you. And that was the verse that kind of um, led into lots of sermons and lots of your thinking and lots of you that have shared about digging in. And I've got simply two thoughts that have really impinged on me during the last, um, I was going to say a few months, but even recently, uh, this week as well. And first of all, I just want to, to say that the first bit of the verse says, sow for yourselves righteousness. And it was this word, sow for yourselves, that really hit me. You see, my spiritual growth, my walk with our Heavenly Father depends on me to a certain extent. It's my responsibility. It's my responsibility to grow. It says, so for yourselves, not relying on other people. If you can imagine a child that's, you know, had the milk, it's now feeding on solid food. And it's being spoon fed by mum or dad or auntie or anybody else. And eventually, the child will pick the spoon up and feed for themselves. But you get the child who doesn't want to be bothered, just throws it around, throws the spoon on the floor, throws the dish on the floor, can't be bothered to feed itself. You do it. Perhaps it wants to do something else, doesn't want to sit there, wants to go and play. And you can hear a little voice from a parent go, you'll never grow big and strong like that. <laughs> well, how about if Father says to us this morning that if we don't sow for ourselves, if we don't work for ourselves to develop our spiritual life, he's saying to us, you'll never grow big and strong. And that really hit me. You know, Steve and Liz have worked really hard these last few months thinking about this, digging in. We've had some wonderful sermons from the two of them. and from Barry. Can't miss Barry. They've given us books to read. We've done courses like the Emotionally Healthy Spiritual One and the Louis Giglio One. But if I actually don't take it to heart myself or read those books, or read those scriptures, and think about it, then I'm not going to grow. I've got to do something myself. You know, I've got a pile of books at home, I'll confess, and I've not read them all yet. How many times does my Bible sit there unopened? I know I cheat a bit nowadays, because I've got it on my phone. But can you see my point? It's this doing it for ourselves and not relying on being fed by other people. I was reading a book by Galvin and Ann Calver this week, and this is a quote from Gavin. He says, we have to make deliberate choices to keep moving forward in faith. And I thought that was brilliant. That kind of summed up some of the things that have been going through my heart. And I keep saying, Father, I'm sorry when I don't do this and I know I should. I want to pick up my spoon and feed myself. So that's the first thing. The other thing is, I really felt my sweet little voice in my head say, um, do you really take your faith, your Christian walk, seriously? Do you really take it seriously? And I looked up in my dictionary, oh, sorry, on my phone, um, <laughs> what the word seriously really means. And it came up with earnestly, passionately, fervently, 
purposefully, perseveringly, do we really take our faith seriously? Barry said something last Sunday that really hit home with me. And he was talking about his relationship with his dad. And he said, I'm not going to quote him because I get it wrong, more or less, um, that the times that he didn't see his dad for a while did not mean that his dad was any less his dad. And if, like me at times, I haven't spent a lot of time with my heavenly father, it doesn't mean that he's not my heavenly father. But how much better is it when we have that close relationship with our heavenly father? Now, I've got a hanky in my pocket, because I might need it. My dad, bless him, was very special to me. And he still is. And from an early age, we had a bond because I used to work with him. My dad was a milkman. And I spent many Saturdays and holidays going out with him and doing the job with him and learning from him and spending time with him. And my dad trusted me. He trusted me as the years went on to collect money for him. He trusted me on a Saturday afternoon to count the money that had come in for him. We had a great relationship. And even as I got older, there was nothing better than going back home to mum and dad's and sitting on the side of the armchair and put my arm around him. I was a bit big to sit on his knee, but that was the nearest thing I got. And you know, last No, two weekends ago, I was up in Derbyshire and I was in the cemetery where mum and dad are buried. And I had lunch with my mum and dad. Um, And that was just lovely because it's a beautiful place. But I was remembering what lovely parents they'd been. Some of the things that they'd said. My mum used to say lots of times when I rung up, what have you got to tell me then? And I thought, Your Heavenly Father says that to you this morning. What have you got to tell me? And it's just this idea of our relationship and it growing. And God said to me quite a few times lately, how serious am I about my faith? Am I really digging in or do I just, (laughs) like me at home, weeding just a couple of bits and it's done? Um, So can I just leave you with those two thoughts that we sow for ourselves. You, me, we have a responsibility in our growing. Okay, God's there with us and the Holy Spirit. But if I don't open my Bible, if I don't pray, if I don't sit and consider certain things, I won't grow. And do we take our faith seriously, earnestly, passionately, purposefully? Let me finish reading the verse again. Whoops. It's moved. (laughs) Sow for yourselves righteousness. Because this was what comes next. Reap the fruit of steadfast love. Break up your fallow ground. For it is the time to seek the Lord. That he may come and rain salvation upon you. Amen.